Oh my God. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. To this day, Deontay Wilder absolutely goes off on Andy Ruiz. He calls him short, fat, and says the people just want to see how quick he can knock out Andy Ruiz. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Boxing Ego, quick hits. Less intro, less filler. Let's get it. Now, Ellie, ES News. He has a brand new exclusive with Deontay Wilder. It looks like Wilder might have been golfing. And Wilder absolutely explodes on Andy Ruiz Jr. He's basically saying his dad got to get out the way. And I'm just going to paraphrase. You guys can watch the interview. He says Andy Ruiz's dad got to get out the way. They have some kind of construction company. He said that's his daddy's company. And when the money runs out, then Andy's going to be broke and have nowhere to go. He says that this construction company is basically funded by Andy Ruiz's boxing exploits. That's the reason why he was able to get that business off the ground and erect that business. So he's saying Andy needs to fight. And he says, I hate when non-fighters like the daddy or the trainer or whoever seem to be the ones trying to be in the driver's seat and make the decisions for the fighters. He's saying Andy is 33 and he's short, he's fat, he has T-Rex midget arms, and the fans really want to come to see a Wilder show. He says, that's why, Wilder says, that's why he doesn't even need a belt. People know he puts on an electrifying show, it's edge of your seat entertainment, you know somebody likely is going to get knocked out or has the possibility of being knocked out. So he says, what I've done for the game of boxing heavyweight division, versus Andy Ruiz is completely different. Now, I'm gonna stop right there. Deontay Wilder was cooking. I know it's a lot, but you guys gotta watch the interview, great stuff. But Wilder was really cooking and I agree with him. He says that Andy Ruiz was a champion for a smidge, like a moment in time, like a short, brief period of time. That's true because Anthony Joshua was the fighter who lost their belts to Andy Ruiz in New York, and that's how Andy Ruiz became a champion. But Anthony Joshua, being a fighter, he pushed the button on the rematch clause and did an immediate rematch and decided that he wanted to go again with Andy Ruiz. They did it in Saudi Arabia, and Andy Ruiz came in fat and like out of shape. He did a Buster Douglas, where he had vlogs and stuff that people overlook, where he was eating pizza, and, you know, just kind of living the life, championship life. You got all this exposure, more money, more recognition, more interviews than you've ever had. And he did a Buster Douglas where people thinking, oh, this is the guy that beat Mike Tyson. Then he's going to go real far. And then Buster Douglas ends up losing his very next fight. So boxing spectators were wondering, like, how do you beat Mike Tyson of fear? You know, I'm ecstatic. I'm elated. I'm, I'm happy. I'm just happy. I got a lot of crooks, a lot of guys that want to steal my money, but I'm hungry. I need some, I need some breakfast out this month. Give me some hominy grits. Like, how do you beat Mike Tyson? And then eight months or so later, you get knocked out by Evander Holyfield in like the third round. It was a very short fight. And this is a former cruiserweight. So that's why I say the Buster Douglas effect. So Wilder, he's absolutely right. Andy Ruiz was a brief champion. Because not Anthony Joshua didn't knock him out. And I don't even think Anthony Joshua looked great in that rematch with Ruiz. But neither did Ruiz. And Joshua definitely did enough to win. He was just kind of boxing and staying away. And I don't know if Anthony Joshua has been the same since. Because he's, he looks, since the Andy Ruiz loss, he looks more hesitant and gun shy. But nonetheless, Ruiz lost his belt. So Andy Ruiz is really, claim to fame is, is beating Joshua in a spectacular fashion, dropping him and beating him. Wilder had 10 title defenses, entered the likes of great heavyweight names like Muhammad Ali and Klitschko with 10 successful defenses. So his reign was much longer. It was Stavern all the way to Fury, right? And Fury's like six, nine and had beaten Klitschko, things like that. Bigger than Wilder, came in and outweighed Wilder, yada, yada, yada. So at the end of the day, Wilder's right. And I don't really see how Ruiz is expecting a 50-50 split. And this politics seemed to get in the way of business more often than not. And it's sad 
But I'm not saying Andy Ruiz can't get paid, but this is a good fight, a big fight. Wilder should get the brunt of the money, the lion's share of the money, because he was he's done more. It, like people really he's everything he's saying is true. People really show up for a Wilder fight, especially if it's a big fight, you know, because he has that enigma with the power and that Alabama slammer. So you never know what's going to happen. Ruiz, he, he is a cool base, but he's not bringing in the crowd like that, you know. And what Wilder said was he was a long standing champion. That's something that Andy Ruiz can't say. And he says people say he has fast hands because he has t-rex short arms and stuff like that but at the end of the day he says if you were to fight me people want to see how fast i can knock you out and his trainer malik scott pretty much mirrored that comment said wilder would knock out andy ruiz cold and ko him so i hope they get it together big fight wilder's making it sound like ruiz if he doesn't take this fight he could get shelved let me know what you guys think does ruiz deserve 50 50 Please explain if you believe he does. And I personally thought Wilder was cooking and he was saying a lot of valid things. You let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think the split should be. Hopefully they fight. That's what's most important. Crawford and Errol Spence found a way to get it together. So did Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia. This will be great for the year 2023 if we can get a heavyweight fight that Americans actually care about. And that fight is Wilder versus Ruiz. They're aligned with the same people. Really no reason it shouldn't happen. Drop your thoughts in the comment section, best in the business, and I'm out. Attention all YouTube content creators. If you follow my channel, you'll know I use TubeBuddy. Take your channel to the next level with TubeBuddy, which is the ultimate tool for your YouTube success. Unlock a world of possibilities, grow your channel, increase your views, and maximize your earnings. Cha-ching. TubeBuddy features powerful keyword research, video optimization, and so much more. TubeBuddy got your back. But wait, there's more. I got a coupon code for you guys. 25% off until June 30th. If you click my link in the description and enter the code 25Buddy, I will give you 25% off TubeBuddy to get your YouTube channel jumping. Click my link in the description. Enjoy the coupon code and happy creation.